Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Ethereum has reached earlier today my first target here or the next Fibonacci level of the larger degree here at 3,990. Uh, it's been on the chart for a few days and it was the first target or first level relevant for this larger third wave. Back to the daily chart. Uh, let me just see, do I have the daily open? Yeah. So basically here for circle wave three, this was the first relevant level. Yeah. Um, how did we determine that or how do we how do we get to that? Well, it is quite simple. So what we normally do, we take the length of waves one and three. Then we go to the low of the fourth wave. And that what we would typically want to see is the 38.2 extension or the 61.8 extension as targets. The 38.2 is typically shallow for a wave five, especially in crypto, especially in a bullish market. So I would not rule out um, further direct extensions to the upside, okay? And I presented to you earlier here the direct upside extension wave count as well. And they are very welcome further extensions because eventually the longer, back to the daily, the longer these subwaves extend or the higher they go yeah the more also the overall structure will extend in the bull run and we are obviously in the bull run i hope everybody <laughs> sees that um so the higher for example the third goes the higher the fifth will go and so you know maybe 8 to 12k is i don't know it might, maybe it's not enough so it's only a projection anyway extensions are always possible but at least we have something on the chart that we can work towards now then looking at the shorter time frame. Yeah, this is a bit tricky, this structure, I have to say, you know, it, it's, it's um, I give my best here to come up with a count that kind of makes sense. The idea is that this is either way five, which actually, if we look at the microstructure, yeah, we obviously looking here at a potential fifth wave, yeah, in this circle wave three that I just showed you. So we're looking at, probably here, the last wave up that could complete or that is needed to complete circle wave three, this circle wave three. So there are two ways how this could unfold. To be honest, there are many options because this looks like corrective structures, at least not clearly impulsive, um, not bearish, absolutely not, but probably moving up in a diagonal or something. And that leaves a lot of room for interpretation if you are looking for micro counting. As I always say, micro counts, they will change a lot. But here, this last trend reversal area did work out. That support did hold. We had a support area here, which worked out nicely as well. So you see, for anybody who feels left out, there are always going to be additional support regions that I can offer that you could use to measure your risk and to maybe calculate your risk to find an entry. Yeah. Especially this one here was nice. Okay, I would argue a lot of people didn't use it because we only had a wick into it and then a reversal. But then here we had a few days where the price spent some time since Wednesday in this support region. Now we're going already, okay? We had a, a flush out of the apes here <laughs> earlier today. And now we are already climbing again. So obviously, what, what do we need to see? So a break above the intraday high would suggest that the price climbs higher towards 4,080 next. Well, what level is that? Well, that level, that level, let me actually, yeah. So that level would be a target here for the wave five. There is the white microstructure that suggests wave one, wave two, wave three. We had the wave four as a triangle, and now we are in this fifth wave to the upside. That's a possibility, even though I don't have a great micro count here. And then 4,080, yeah, that's the next level to watch. 4,281 above that. Um, and then, yeah, and then we are also um, looking at the option here for of the yellow count, which is a little bit more bullish. Basically, the yellow count allows after the next high, another higher low and another higher high, possibly towards the 4,500 region. So this, the, the challenge at the moment is just to determine where the support areas lie and what the relevant support levels are. And at the moment, the first signal we would get that some kind of a top is in place 
is if these previous swing lows are taken out, specifically the end of the triangle pattern here, the wave four or the wave B, it was probably a triangle here, um, at 4, 000, uh, sorry, 3,765. So taking out that level there would be a first indication that the top is in place. Against that level, the focus can be on higher. To be honest, not so confident in the idea of a triangle. So the, these other swing lows are very close. So I would not say, okay, if we go down to 3,700, 62 but we haven't taken out that low from wednesday i mean yeah so it's it's taking out these swing lows okay they're very close together um possibly all the way down to 3730 those would be indications that we have topped in some kind of a i don't know whatever that is then um and then if we see further evidence for example a break below that larger degree wave four low that would suggest circle wave three has topped. Now I have already added a support area. Uh, oh, I thought I did. Maybe here. I added a support area to the chart, communicated that earlier today to channel members already that if we get wave four, circle wave four, support is 2,940 to 3,455. That's going to be the risk if we get a deeper pullback. Very similar to this support area. So there is no great change, yeah? It's actually very, it's pretty much identical. So if we get circle wave four from what I can see right now, and it will shift with the price. So if the price keeps climbing, I have to adjust the support area, but that is currently support if we get a deeper pullback. Um, until then, yeah, the levels that I indicated to you uh, are the next, um, yeah, basically those levels ideally here hold for more direct trend continuation higher, which is very much appreciated to then get to more bullish bull market targets, basically. Yeah, that's my update about Ether. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.